In this June 5, 2018 photo, emergency personnel surround a National Guard military vehicle stolen from Fort Pickett, Nottaway County, Virginia. Police in Virginia said they arrested a soldier who stole the armored personnel carrier after chasing him for more than 60 miles. Grace Hollers, Richmond Times Dispatch via AP, Richmond, Virginia. AP, an Army National Guard officer accused of stealing an armored personnel carrier from a Virginia base and leading police on a more than 60-mile, 100-kilometer, chase was driving under the influence of drugs, police said Wednesday. Joshua Philip Yabit, 29, of Richmond, was charged with eluding police and unauthorized use of a vehicle, the Virginia National Guard said in a news release. The vehicle, which drives on tracks like a tank, was stolen Tuesday evening from Fort Pickett in Blackstone. Police chased it for about two hours at speeds as high as 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour, before the driver stopped and surrendered near Richmond City Hall, Virginia State Police said. The guards said the personnel carrier was driven away during routine training at Fort Pickett and has been returned to the base. The vehicle wasn't equipped with any weapons, but Yabit had his personal weapon with him without any ammunition, the guard said. Police said investigation is ongoing and declined to comment on a motive for stealing the vehicle, but said he was under the influence of drugs. Yabit is being held at the Richmond jail. No bond was set when he appeared Wednesday in Richmond General District Court via video link from the jail. Yabit's attorney, Assistant Public Defender Thomas Weewerka, did not immediately return a call-seeking comment. The guard said Yabit is a first lieutenant assigned as company commander of the 276th Engineer Battalion and has more than 11 years of service. He deployed to Afghanistan from 2008 to 2009 with the Illinois National Guard. We are extremely grateful that there were no injuries as a result of this incident and we appreciate the great work of the Virginia State Police, Richmond Police Department and other law enforcement and first responders who safely brought this situation to a close. Mush. General Timothy P. Williams, the Adjutant General of Virginia, said in a statement. Williams said the Guard has started an internal investigation and will determine appropriate actions once the investigation is complete. Michael Finneran, a spokesman for the NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton, said Yabit worked there in a civilian job in the Office of the Chief Information Officer from 2014 to 2017. Yabit also previously worked as an unpaid software developer for Zencash, the cryptocurrency company said in a statement Wednesday. Yabit was a developer in the project's early stages, and he intentionally made public a method of attacking the system, which was a vulnerability that he coded in, according to the statement. The company said an attack caused a loss of funds from Zencash supporters. The lost funds were restored. The vulnerability was addressed in the FBI Internet Crime Complaint Center was contacted about Yabit's actions, the company said. A spokeswoman for the Richmond Division of the FBI did not immediately return a call-seeking comment. Yabit seemed to foreshadow the theft and chase in Twitter posts Tuesday. Hours before the vehicle drove off the base, an account confirmed by the guard as Yabitz tweeted a Wikipedia entry about the M113 armored personnel carrier, which is similar to the M577 vehicle police chased, and a screenshot of a map around the area where the vehicle eventually stopped. Minutes after police began their pursuit shortly before 8 p.m., Jabid posted a photo and video of himself in what appears to be the stolen vehicle. He wrote a series of ad tweets Tuesday, including, Where is this damn water buffalo? All I want to do is get an anime wife and, Wow I think I just discovered a large illegal spy operation in the US government. Attempts to reach Jabid's family members were not successful. 
In February, Jabot filed papers to run as an independent candidate for the U.S. Senate seat currently held by Tim Kaine. Yabit is due back in court on July 11th. Underscore 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 Associated Press writer Sarah Rankin contributed to this report. Underscore 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 information from Richmond Times Dispatch HTTP colon slash slash www.richmond.com Copyright Copyright 2018 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, written or redistributed.